For Ultimate Team Coins, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Their link is in the description below, a very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you get a discount on your coins. They also offer PSN, MSP, and other Game Gold as well. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the best team in FIFA the series where you guys submit me your favourite teams, I try them out, review them and let you know how I think they are. So today we've had a team sent in from Matt X FIFA HD. His team is called Oh My Sweat, which sounds fantastic. And this is the team Kapow. If you want to send in your teams, guys, check out twitter.com slash nepenthes. Go on to foothead.com, sign in, build your team, send me the link on Twitter, and bang, I'll review your team. If I like the look of it, I might play with it. And the reason why I like the look of this team is because the 4 triple two is a formation I haven't really experienced too much. And I thought, you know what, that'd be pretty good. Ibarbo and Abamyang, as I proved in a previous team, were fucking deadly together up front. I really wanted to try this uh, blue guy as well, Rafa, uh, Roberto Firmino. Four-star skill moves. He's got really decent all-round stats as well. And I, like, I saw him straight away and I was like, yeah, this looks like a good team. Um, I've also played against recently quite a few people that have Muriel, Cam, and Guarine at CDM. In, in, or in fact, the, this exact trio, Ibarbo, Muriel, and Guarine. And they did really good work with it. So I was tempted to try that out as well. It's got a really strong defense with the uh, Hummels and... Um, Thiago Silva and of course uh, informed Digne and Pizcek and then Sirigu in goal is great. Everyone would get 10 chemistry after the 10 games but I put the manager in to give everyone 10 chem but the three players there. I'm excited to use this team. The 4 triple two, like I say, it's not really a formation I use. This team goes for 75,000 coins on Xbox, roughly 85,000 on PlayStation, roughly. Maybe you guys want to test it out but I'm going to let you guys know how it plays, how I think it plays and whether or not you should try it. So let's get into the gameplay. Let's go! Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, I just want to cry and cry and cry. This team was shocking. Like, shocking. I don't know what the problem was. After looking back at the team, I would, I would assume it was the work rates of the players. Um, because, you know, three of the four defenders have got high attacking work rates. The two CDMs have got high attacking work rates. And the two cams have got medium attacking work rates. So... In general, this team was just like all over the place. You know, it really was all over the place. I've given it a, a two-star rating. Uh, the attack I've given three stars. I, I did create and generate a lot of chances, right? I did, I did create a lot of chances. But for some reason today, maybe it was just me having a bad day on FIFA. Maybe I was just playing bad. But, you know, I, I was in some games, like the game that I lost, the first game that I lost, uh, I lost it 3-1 in extra time. And I had 20 shots or something like that and 18 on target. Uh, you know, some, something like that, 20 and 18 or 21 and 19, something like that. And the dude had like six shots and scored three goals. And it, and it was one of those games where just everything was going wrong for me. And then game after game, even this game, which I win 4-3, I conceded three goals. Like the defense was just everywhere. And not in the good sense of like, oh my God, he's got this ball, he's got that ball. They were just fucking all over the place. Like it was such a shambles of a team. Um... To, to the guy who sent it in, to uh, Matt X FIFA HD, who s labelled this "Oh my sweat," like it, it is a sweaty team because it has got a lot of pace in it. But I don't think the the team is just it's it's just not good enough. It's it's just not good enough. I lost three of the games. Um, I won one of the games and I drew one of the games or I was drawing one of the games 2-2 against a subscriber and it was really funny because I could hear him through the connect like talking uh, about me and saying that it's me and him and his buddy that were in the background were debating whether it's Bateson or not because Bateson also has um, or had last year live on Twitch as his team name um, and then after 69 minutes of that game the guy just goes I can't be asked. I'm going to rage quit at 2-2 and literally just paused it and rage quit like I don't know what his plan was I don't know what he was doing um, but yeah, every, every person that I was coming up against, it was like the games were close. It, this team does generate a lot of chances, but I feel like because of the high attacking work rates of all the players, except the players that you want to have a high attacking work rates, it just leaves you so exposed at the back. And even though these defenders are good, like Pizcek for me is one of my favorite defenders in the game. Thiago Silva is always strong. Sidigu I've had no problems with. Hummels is really strong, powerful defender. And Digne, I, you know, I'm indifferent to. I don't really know much about him. I had to give it a one star. Just because it was it was all over the place. Now, I want to not believe that work rates have that much of an impact on FIFA. But after playing with a team like this, maybe it was a formation. Maybe, again, it was just me. Maybe I just was shocking and had a bad day. But 
I've played a lot of FIFA recently, and, and I'm on on a in a position with FIFA where I'm actually like I'm getting like three or four wins per loss. So to lose three out of five and draw one and and narrowly win one um, was very disappointing. There was no best player in this team. I just literally, guys, I couldn't label one player better than the other because this whole team felt like a bit of a shambles, to be honest. Like, I didn't really score many goals with it. I conceded a lot of goals with it. Um, I've given it a one star value for money rating because for 75k, I can build you a team that will absolutely destroy people. You know, like we've shown so many other teams here that are cheaper than this that play far, far better with very similar players as well. It's quite strange that one. Um, and I've given the overall two star. The midfield were just not there. Overall, I didn't like the team, but thank you to the guy that sent in. You know, this team might work for other people. So if you actually want to give the team a try, let me know how you get on with it. That would be fantastic. But this is the end of the video, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace. I'm going to play it inside. Oh, no. He's, try he's, he's gone for the skills. He's gone for the skills and abilities. He's... Oh shit, he's actually, oh, he's taken a fall. Ref, that's got to be a dive, right? That is, no, oh my god. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, thank god for that.